one does not simply walk into Mordor. The Land of Shadow. Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's Shadowcast, we will be exploring the dark tongue of Mordor, the Black Speech. In this lore video, we'll be delving into Sauron's attempt to create one language to rule them all. Uh, I know I promised you guys uh, one part one of our review uh, of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, season one, uh, but I just finished updating um, a significant portion of our Black Speech pages on thelandofshadow.com, and I wanted to present them along with this lore video, which I'd been planning. Uh, you can go here to uh, get more information about how to learn and speak and write the Black Speech, or you can go to the links below. Uh, one bit of news I did want to share uh, before uh, jumping into our lore video uh, is that it is being reported that the character of Tom Bombadil, who was famously cut from Peter Jackson's uh, version of the Lord of the Rings films, will be appearing in season two of The Rings of Power. Um, this rumor comes directly from the OneRing.net. Uh, apparently, Justin uh, Sewell claims that the show uh, has cast and is filming scenes with Tom Bombadil. Uh, this is a quote from their podcast where he says, it's 100% Tom Bombadil. That's what they are saying. Tom Bombadil has been cast and will show up in season two. However, there has been no official confirmation of this yet. It's still just a rumor, uh, but it is an interesting one. Uh, as we find out more, we'll be reporting it here uh, in the Land of Shadow. Okay, so now let's go ahead and delve into the dark tongue. Sauron invented the black speech during the dark years of the Second Age as a means to unify and marshal the vast armies he needed to assault Middle Earth. For a time, Morgoth placed Sauron in charge of Angband during the First Age, directing him to make war upon the elves. During this time, Sauron would have marshaled the armies of Morgoth and captained his dark fortress. He would have seen clearly the need for communication with, within the ranks of his armies. When Sauron came into his own during the Second Age, it was through the Iron Fist of the Orc that the Dark Lord made war upon the West. The Orcs of the Second Age had splintered into many different factions, making communication nearly impossible within the myriad dialects of Orcish. Sauron needed one language to rule them all. When the Dark Lord took Mordor as his own, he began the first building of Barad-dûr. To create such a vast structure, he would have needed armies of orcs and countless slaves, all moving in unison to the same drumbeat. It was during this time that Sauron would have perfected the black speech and made it the official language of Mordor. Little remains of the original form of the Black Speech. When Sauron was overthrown at the end of the Second Age, the ancient, pure form was forgotten by all but the Nazgul. When Sauron returned to Mordor, it was once again made the official language of Barad-dûr. However, during most of the Third Age, the rank-and-file orcs of Mordor used a debased form of the dark tongue. The only example of pure black speech that survived in the histories of Middle-earth was the inscription upon the One Ring of Power, found in the Red Book of Westmarch. 
Though it was written in elvish script, its sounds were guttural and harsh to the ear. Ashnaz Dubatuluk, Ashnaz Gimbatu, Ashnaz Fraktaluk, Arduzumi Ishi Grimbatu. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. Unlike Tolkien's other invented languages, he left it mainly a mystery to the reader. With only the ring inscription and a scant few words spoken in the base form of the dark tongue by various orcs in the story, the professor described the black speech this way in an interview. The black speech was not intentionally modeled on any style but was meant to be self-consistent, very different from Elvish, yet organized and expressive, as would have been expected of a device of Sauron before his complete corruption. It was evidently an algalutinive language, and the verbal system must have included pronominal suffixes expressing the object, as well as those indicating the subject. I have tried to play fair linguistically, and it's meant to have a meaning and not to be a mere casual group of nasty noises, though an accurate translation would even nowadays only be printable in the higher and artistically more advanced forms of literature. According to my taste, such things are best left to orcs, ancient and modern. Tolkien definitely had a bit of fun with that one. In the appendices of The Lord of the Rings, there is a section on orcs and the black speech, which constitutes much of what we know about the language. The word gnash, meaning fire, and alogai, meaning mountain troll, were words spoken in the ancient form, and there is very little else we have to go on. Tolkien stated that Sauron failed in his attempt to impose the black speech upon the servants of Mordor. But if the ring had not been destroyed, we believe Gandalf's fears would have come to pass and the dark tongue of Mordor would have been spoken in every corner of the West. Over the course of the last 60 years, Attempts have been made by many to bring the black speech to life. And since the release of the Jackson films, interest has only grown. We here in Mordor, the land of shadow.com, have our own version of the dark tongue, which we affectionately call the Shadowlandian dialect. Created by our black speech linguist, Scatha, who did an admirable job of breathing life into Tolkien's vision of the language and layering in what Tolkien scholars and linguists have built upon since the books were published. We have an English to Black Speech Dictionary and a Black Speech to English Dictionary. We offer 10 lessons on the writing and speaking of the dark tongue of Mordor, as well as additional resources. I have recently begun a full update of our black speech pages and urge all who are interested in learning this dark tongue of Mordor to check it out. We have some work to do yet, but most of the content has been updated. So enter our library of shadow and discover the black speech of Mordor. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this lore video about the dark tongue of Mordor. Hopefully, in our next Shadowcast, uh, I'll be bringing you my review of the Rings of Power Season 1. Um, also, make sure to stop by our website at thelandofshadow.com and discover our black speech pages. We've got a lot of goodies in there that have just been updated. We've got the 10 lessons. 
we have the Black Speech to English Dictionary and the English to Black Speech Dictionary, along with a lot of other little goodies. Still needs a little bit more updating, uh, but for the most part, the uh, part of the, uh, the website that has uh, how to learn the Black Speech has been fully updated. So go ahead and check that out. And, and so until next time, I hope to see you deep in the archives of the Library of Shadow, studying the dark tongue of Moore.